Hello, my name is Hani Constant. I'm one of the student assistants here at the Aboriginal Student Centre. I'm also the Senior Interpretive Guide at Wanuskamon Heritage Park. I'm also currently a master's student here at the University of Saskatchewan getting my Master's of Archaeology. My master's thesis is to create an interpretive program for Wanuskamon Heritage Park. And what that means is I get to create a program or a tour for people to come to the park and learn about the archaeological record at Wanuskamon from an Indigenous perspective. So my master's is to honour all seven Indigenous groups that we acknowledge at the park that we see there for over 6,000 years of human occupation. And I get to tell their stories of all the amazing things they've done. My name is Ernie Walker. I am a faculty member in the Department of Archaeology and Anthropology and a founder of Wanuskaven Heritage Park. Honey came to my office, I think, is the first time I saw her. She was an undergraduate student uh, and expressed some interest in some archaeology classes that I was teaching. She subsequently became a bit of a regular uh, in my office and so she uh, did take more classes with me and finished her undergraduate degree. So we were musing about things after that and she expressed an interest in uh, doing graduate work and she is now my graduate student in her second year. One of my most happiest recollections is how Honey has blossomed. She got involved in a lot of student activity around campus, outside the department, even outside the college. So she uh, gained some confidence, I think, that was really, really important. So if you contrast that with the very first day that she walked into my office and didn't say very much, um, it has been quite a journey. When we were building Wanuskewin, and the First Nations community was trying to figure out whether it was going to be involved or not. This is some 40 years ago. The decision was made that day in 1984 that the First Nations community would be there. One elder told me that the real reason why they were going to join this endeavor was that it was supposed to happen all along. So there are little things for the last 42 years related to Wanuskewin that I sometimes think are sort of minor miracles. Some of them are pretty big miracles. This, this was not supposed to happen um, the way it did. Uh, we're on the verge of a World Heritage designation perhaps. And I think Honey coming into the program and blossoming the way she did was it just another one of those little things that were supposed to happen. It's not scientific, I understand that, but uh, too many things have happened along the way with this project. So the students have been a big part of it, literally hundreds of undergraduate students, yes, some graduate students, uh, and she is among the very best. I think as Indigenous scholars or students, we often see a lot of different challenges throughout our academic years. Um, so for me, I like to think of the word we'll go to in, which means kinship or all my relations. And it's a teaching that kind of just tells you that you make family out of the people around you. I am at uh, the graduate's uh, level in my department and just starting to build that community around me. Uh, when you find people that have a like uh, communities and stories, it's just easier to lean on each other. So when I think of uh, my challenges, I think of the people that help me get through it.